Amid the coronavirus outbreak this week, the Archdiocese of Philadelphia announced the suspension of all public masses until further notice. And this is a big change for many of the faithful. Joining us live on the phone this morning is Archbishop, the Archbishop of Philadelphia, Nelson Perez. Good morning, Archbishop. Thanks so much for taking time to join us. Good morning, Janelle. Thank you for having me. And you know, for a lot of people, this is not going to be a typical week, a typical Sunday. What is your advice for those who may be having some difficulty adjusting to to all of the recent changes? Well, it certainly is unsettling, but uh, this is the time to uh, go into our, you know, our personal prayer life and reading the scriptures. And, and, uh, and for us Catholics, the rosary, the praying of the rosary is such a source of, of consolation, praying together with families. Uh, just the other, just last night, a group of young people sent me a picture of them gathering around a table. Uh, praying the rosary together and praying with each other. And that's a source of great consolation. This is a time for families to come together in their homes, you know, in a place that's safe and, uh, and certainly support each other and walk with each other. And speaking of consolation, in times of crisis, people often turn to the church for comfort and to be part of a larger community. So how can people still find ways to really stay spiritually connected? Well, you know, we're blessed at this particular moment in history with social media. And, uh, and just last Sunday, I celebrated the, uh, the 11 o'clock Mass uh, from the cathedral. And we had uh, close to 50,000, over 50,000 people in different uh, venues of social media tune in. There's lots of our parishes that are streaming their daily Masses every day. Uh, so I would tell the faithful to check with their parishes. Uh, this, these are ways that, uh, that we could certainly uh, bring consolation and peace to, to our hearts at a time that's very unsettling for everybody. Absolutely. That's some good advice there. What advice would you give to people, regardless of religion, though, if they find themselves feeling you know, overwhelmed or anxious during this time? I think it's so important to pick up the phone and call your friends, you know, to, uh, to talk it out, to to, uh, to air a little bit what's in the heart and what's troubling your heart. And that's why God gave us friends, right, and gave us family. And while we might not be able right now to be in contact uh, with them uh, physically, we could certainly be in contact with them through the phone and just pick up the phone and support each other. Uh, families are coming together in that way by texting, by calling. This is a time for, for us to come together as a human family. Absolutely. So important to check in on our loved ones. Um, as this coronavirus crisis continues, it seems like there could potentially be some changes leading up to Holy Week services at the Vatican. Have you heard anything? And are you beginning to consider how services may need to be different here? Oh, we're certainly uh, looking at, at everything right now. And again, uh, availing ourselves of the, of the gift of uh, of technology and social media. You know, people can't go to the church right now uh, for Mass, so our, our, our biggest thing, question is, how do then we bring the church to people? And we're, and we're discussing all sorts of venues. Uh, we just finished uh, an online uh, rosary for like eight days, six days or seven days. Uh, we had over a thousand people coming in and praying together. So certainly uh, God has given us this blessing of, of technology and the media itself, as we're doing right now, which I'm so grateful for you guys. Um, it's, it's, that's the way now we have to bring the church and faith and consolation and peace to people. Archbishop Nelson Perez with some great advice there in terms of staying connected during this crisis. Thank you, Archbishop. We hope you have a great day. And know that all of you are in my prayers every single day. God bless you. And